Hey guys, Greg Christensen here, uh, Grandview Livestock again. Um, you know, I've had a few questions on my scales and uh, what kind of scales it is or maybe where I got it, uh, the size of it. And so I'll take a closer look at it here and then I'm going to go weigh some uh, dough wings that uh, we have here. So uh, here we'll take a look at the scales. Uh, there you go, guys. Uh, that's the scales. We slide it underneath the alleyway. It's 37 inches long, and it's about, it's a little short of night, or a little over 19 inches wide. There you see. And then uh, it, it's got this digital readout for it now. I don't even know what brand it is on that readout. It says R-E-M-O. And then it also has a little insignia in it and it says tree, T-R-E-E. -E. But I've had this scale for, I don't know, several years, uh, probably at least 10. And uh, you could probably get a, a better one. I looked on there and I'll, I'll, maybe I'll put some links in the description. Around $300, I think. And you can get a scale that's so similar to this. I'm sure only ones I could see were Chinese made. I'm sure this one is, and it's probably not even made anymore. I didn't see one that was exactly like this one, but you know they're they're all going to be similar. Um, so yeah, I I've used this in quite a bit. One thing I will tell you that we you need to to have it on firm ground. Uh, so and I'll show you here where our uh, alleyway is raised like that we had to block it up because we we're getting some false readings it wasn't very accurate to jump around and because that alleyway was a little bit springy so we put some blocks under it made it more solid and it's not going to be like 100 percent accurate i mean i guess you could sell some animals off of this if you didn't care if you were just right on but uh it's going to give you an idea because you don't want to take some kids into the sale thinking they weigh 55 and they only weigh 45 see so uh, and you don't want to have a bunch of them that's weighing 75 or 80 and you could have sold them back when they weighed 60. so it's going to get you close enough for most applications that we're going to have here around the ranch and so uh, i highly recommend you know that you do have a scale and you set it up and weigh some of your animals uh, different times there so uh, let's go set this one up and i'll show you how we've got it set up okay guys so here uh we slid this underneath here the sun's on it kind of bad to, to see it but it just we've got a piece of plywood underneath there because that scales is just a little bit wider than our alleyway or it's real close and so we put a piece of plywood where it'll sit on there. And then we blocked up underneath our, our raised alleyway here because that was, it was kind of, it'll give a little bit and it'll throw your scales off. So I hope you can see that. Just block that up solid. Then your scales. And you want your scales, adjust the feet of your scales where that thing sets level. Make sure it's it's flat. It then it's not wobbling back and forth on you uh, when you set that scales in there. And then the scales, all of them pretty much have a, a digital readout here. So they're, uh, like I said, I, you, you can probably get different different ones now. I'll try to look up and put a, a uh, link. Let's see, it just sits in there. Now we've made this, you gotta have a, a door here behind it. So this has this pull rope where they come in. 
something I made one day. Uh, these are actually uh, kind of a T post. Uh, I'll tell you where you can get those. You know, when they put up those old seed signs around fields, telling you what kind of it's pioneer seed and they're bragging on their seed or something in front of somebody's field. Um, that's kind of the kind of post that they use. See, and it's already got this groove, so I just slid that piece of plywood in there and uh, stuck this pulley on it. Tied it off so we could just use it as a as a door. It just slides up and down. You could use a piece of channel iron, whatever you got around there. Two pieces of angle iron welded together. Um, so we're gonna run these uh, some dolings through here and get a weight on those. See if we want to keep all of them or just send some to the sale. So there's a uh, couple hundred ewe lambs and a couple hundred dolines. We've weighed them, the ones we want to keep. We put them over here. The others will go to sale. And then there's some of these that just won't make it. We'll have to sort them later. But we'll give them a chance. But uh, we'll see how it turns out. Beautiful day. Hey, I hope you all having a good day. See ya.